Hello, everybody. Let's go ahead and get started with a reading for you. Spirit, what is the most important message? Okay, by the book. About doing everything by the book. You know, doing what your, you know, grand granddad taught you and what your dad taught you. And, you know, you just keep doing what everybody tells you to do. And I feel like for some of you, it's like, it, it might be hard to do things by the book because you're so used to going, you know, doing things against the grain is what I just heard. So what do we have here? So number 11 says, abiding by social rules, conformity, res respecting cultural or family customs, universal laws. The universe works within a structure of divine laws and principles that provides a framework for human experience and evolution. The law of abundance, the law of prayer, the law of karma, the law of attraction, the law of thought, the law of compensation, and the law of nature are only a few that are known. These principles create perfect order and operate with a kind of precision beyond human understanding. Even revolution has its place in universal law. Human beings in turn have their own laws and customs that vary from culture to culture and family to family. Laws keep social order and govern behavior, reflecting an instinctive understanding that harmony is important. This is a time to learn these laws and conform to them rather than being the rebel and flouting them. When this card appears, submit to structure and follow the rules, even if they seem to make no sense. Release resistance for universal laws will correct any disharmony. Open your eyes to those universal laws and it will be easier to go by the book at this time. Getting along with others entails understanding and respecting who they have become as a result of their environment culture, and experience. Find the middle ground that allows the relationship to flourish while honoring the individuality of the other person. Play things by the book instead of trying to break the rules or pressure others to conform to the way you want them. Your connection will deepen as a result. And I'll be honest with you, with Pluto and Aquarius and all the Aquarius that we've had, this is breaking free of social norm. And I'll be honest with you, the traditional family has now been completely severed. I can say that just by looking around. That's what Pluto and Capricorn was. Capricorn is the patriarch of the family. How many moms and dads are even together anymore? Especially, you know, since 2008. There's been huge pressure on the, the mom, Cancer, and the father, Capricorn, and you had Pluto there just fucking destroying all of it. Like if anybody even has both parents that still get along and still live under the same roof, holy crap. But also people aren't going to conform to fit some box. That's not even, listen, with Pluto going into Aquarius on January 20th, and it'll go back to Capricorn for like another minute. That's it for the rest of the year. From 2008 to 2024, it's over for Pluto and Capricorn. We're now headed into Pluto and Aquarius, which is breaking free. It's rebellion. Like we're done conforming to fit into some box to be accepted because we're a bunch of cookie cutters. We're not cookie cutter people. That's what I hear from this. I don't... I don't, like, we cannot be expected to be cookie cutter humans. We're not. We were born with different likes, different dislikes, different taste. Like, otherwise, we would all have the same color fucking house. We would have the, you know, all be wearing uniforms or still naked, you know? Like, no, we're different. We're unique. Some are tattooed. Some are not. Some have piercings. Some don't. Some believe in religion, some believe in nothing. Some believe in spirituality, some believe in fucking trees, you know? Like, everybody has their own belief. Aliens. Spirit, please show me what is the most, yeah, three of swords. Yeah, letting go of heartache. You know, it's funny because we have this three here. We have three elephants right there. And what are elephants? Elephants are all about like, 
memory. Elephants are the only animals that can go back to for lifetimes upon lifetimes, and they know where to go. They know where their ancestors are from. You could drop them off in fucking San Diego, and they will literally go across the earth to find home. Of course, they can't cross oceans, but if they could, they would. What do we got here? Yeah, three of swords. Someone here, yeah, yeah, with the sun in the reverse, you're not happy, you know? It's like, there's dis-ease in this. Spirit, please show me. And maybe it is because you don't conform. Family, four of wands. You're not conforming to your family, what your family wants, what you've been expected of since childhood. Yeah. You're done, you know, going back and forth with people. You're done with people who are in and out of your life. You know, that's the thing. This card is so, well, what do we have? Yeah, judgment here. Somebody just made a final judgment call. You know, I feel, feel like, you know, somebody here wanted to ride back in and, and reconcile. And somebody here was like, no, it doesn't make me happy. Because that's what the, the sun and the upright is happiness. The three of swords over the sun in the reverse. With two of swords, somebody here been contemplating. Maybe somebody here was taking their sweet ass time to try and come back in to talk to you. That was the challenge. They took too long. Spirit, please show me what do we have for the collective? What is the most important messages? Yeah, five of wands, putting down petty arguments, petty fights. You're not competing with people anymore. You know, there, there's been a judgment call on that. That's what this says, judgment, boom, right there. Are you going to resurrect it from the dead? Like, can it be resurrected from the dead? Can people put their, let their bygones be bygones? You know, because you have to think that when the sun is in Capricorn, the earth is in Cancer. So this really is about home and family. And the emphasis has been there for quite some time. So for a lot of you, this could be, you know, oh yeah, I saw this earlier, the fool. And the hopes and fears is, again, somebody here who just wants to rebel, <laughs> go off on their own journey. They don't want to be tied to the, the con and conform to the like structure, like this is the way it's gotta be. And if it's not that way, then you can be a part of this. Like it takes a lot of strength to be different. It takes a lot of courage to take a leap of faith. And I feel like someone here is forging the way. They're not letting people come back in and out of their life. Their, their, their challenge is to only allow people into their life that are going to be like, it's, it's, um, give and take when it comes to energy. Okay. It's an investment. Finding people that want to invest, that want to protect your heart at all costs, not just at the cost of their own happiness, but you know, you know, when we had that Saturn, Pluto and Mars conjunction on January 12th, 2020, that's when, you know, what hit, right? Think back go look if you don't remember what happened January of 2020. Well, that was when Saturn, Pluto, and Mars came together. That was closing out the cycle from Saturn, Pluto, and Mars coming together in Libra. What pandemic was that then? HIV. What is Libra? Relationships. So from 1983 up until January of 2020, when Saturn, Pluto, and Mars conjuncted in Capricorn, which is the, again, it's the family, right? Earth and her being in Cancer at that time when that was all going down and everything in Capricorn. So the mother and the father archetype. Look at our families, guys. Look around. Do you get along with your family? Do you have anything in common? For a lot of you, you're going to say no. For some of you, congratulations. This reading is not for you then. Uh, come back at a later date. But this is for the ones 
who have had issues in their own family. And it has been completely torn to shreds. There's nothing recognizable anymore. For some of you, you've lost all hope. You're losing hope, but you're also healing. You're learning how to be, I, I, you know, it's almost like trying out new waters is what I heard. Like trying new waters, you know, dipping your toe into different waters, dipping your toe into, you know, different lifestyles and, you know, really like trying new things. Yeah. There we go. Justice and judgment. We talk about the law of karma, the law of cause and effect. That's judgment and justice. And they both show up in the same line. Someone here making a judgment call. And some, and you know what? Because of that, justice will be served. And who is that? The moon. The mother? Some other energy. We've been talking about it. We just had that full moon in Cancer, did we not? We have the south node in Libra, which is where the outgoing card. So this is like any relationships where there has been any type of injustice, justice will be restored on the person's behalf that has been on the up and up. I feel like right now, there's, a, there's things that have been hidden there's hidden aspects. It could be hidden information with the two, with the swords here that could have helped you with overcoming a lot of this conflict. The conflict could have been overcome if somebody else had been more forthcoming with their words instead of sitting on them. Because the challenge is, is somebody just sitting there going, I'm not going to say anything. It'll bode me well. It'll bode well for me. And everybody will celebrate me and be so happy if I don't say anything about what's going on. So this person turns a blind eye. They've been sitting on information that could have very well helped with this. They could have enlightened the situation. They could have turned the sun in the upright. But instead, the moon is what's in the upright, the secrets. Somebody trying to keep these secrets under wraps. They don't want you to know because they're afraid that they, they might be judged in their role. The secrets always do come out. And, and sometimes they come out way too late, but they do come out. They come out when someone here is like, that up. They don't want to feel pain anymore. They're not going, they're not going in and out. They're, they're not even going to try with this battle. Uh-uh. No. Usually two nights would be a battle, but they're not, they're not even interested in any battles. They're not interested in fighting with anybody anymore. That's why the five of wands is now in the reverse. They are like, no, nah, I'm good. I'll just go ahead and call it. They're just going to go ahead and call it. It's so funny because I just looked at this card, right? And they're, they're blindfolded. But here it's like, you know, they have their visor up. They see clearly. They know. They know what to do. And I think right now it's just, you know, stuff that's just taken a sweet ass time. But the sun and the moon, the two illuminaries and judgment and justice, this could even have something to do with court. Somebody going to court, somebody being judged, unfairly judged. So I think that that's going to get turned around eventually. I don't see it happening overnight because we still need the sun to be turned in the upright. But someone here is like, you know, I also see somebody getting out of jail or getting out of prison. Okay. Or it could have felt like a jail or a prison. I 
I just see someone here like getting out of their head. It's almost like when I, when I look at these cards, I almost see go ahead, go ahead. Think what you want to think, do what you want to do, but I don't care. Go ahead. Keep your secrets. I don't care. Believe what you want. I don't care. It doesn't make this person happy, but they're not going to, you know, they're, they're, I think it's just, you know, I think that there are people out there who know, and there could be multiple people, multiple people who know the truth about certain situations. It's those family secrets. It's always those family secrets. And again, we do have the mother and the father here, the sun and the moon. Except for the father is in the reverse. The mother is the one that's actually in the upright. We have the kids here too, in the in the reverse. I see petty arguing, petty fighting, and people walking away. I just see, I see stupid shit is what I see. I feel like I'm on sixth sense right now. I see dumb people. Like, really, this is what I see. I see people pretending like they're happy. but it's almost like an illusion because the moon is next to the four of wands. It's an illusion. What is this knight of wands spirit? What is the knight? Who is the knight of wands in the reverse? Woo. Yeah. See, we got the nine of wands and we got the eight of wands. So yeah, someone here is blocking some other people from coming back in especially people who are just in and out of your life. You're like, you're not, wands are also about fighting. Like you can, you're, you're avoiding conflict. You're avoid, avoiding fights. You've been through enough battles. Someone here, like, again, you know, harsh words, text messages, emails, phone calls. What is the night of wands? Somebody here was just blocked dead, dead. Some, because somebody else was like, no. Yeah. Because somebody else here couldn't make a choice. This is a head and a heart decision, heart in the upright head in, in the reverse. I think somebody had to stop using their heart, start using their head. Looking at things from a logical perspective, not an emotional one, because the emotional one is what has gotten you to this place. What is the, what is the judgment? What is the judgment card here, spirit? Yeah, five of cups. Someone here, five of cups in the reverse. Okay, someone here is making a judgment that, you know what, not all is lost. I, you know, there's other... Yeah, there's other opportunities with the Ace of Wands. Someone here wanting to extend an olive branch because I feel it's almost like their own guilt, their own, because of their own feelings. High Priestess. Again, there's those secrets. Secrets are going to come out. Secrets are going to come out. There's also something that you're not seeing coming. There's an opportunity that someone here is not seeing coming. What's the five of wands, six of wands in the reverse? Nobody is, but the five of wands and like the five of swords, like nobody is winning. Someone here is just cocky. They're fucking rude. They're too big for their britches or it's all of these people in the five of wands. Because the five of wands to the six of wands in the upright would be like overcoming adversity, you know, getting through like even on the job training and being successful. Whatever this is with the five of wands and the six of wands, both in reverse, this isn't success. It's like one of those nobody wins. There needs to be healing and clarity, even if that is like the double-edged sword by clarity and just cutting people out, cutting things off at the knees and just saying, no more, no more. Yeah. Hanged man. 
I think someone here is trying to see things from a different perspective. It's like they've been trying not to lose hope, but unfortunately, like, <sighs> it's been hard. <laughs> Show me what the justice card. What is the justice? Ooh, eight of cups. Yep, see? Someone takes matters into their own hands. Justice is served because this person walks away from everything that they have emotionally invested their time, their energy, their effort, you know, everything into. Eight of, eight of cups. And they go off on a journey all by themselves. They would rather, and that's how they end up resetting the balance of the scales, is by... You know, they're not toppling the, the cups all over the place. They're literally stacking the cups up nice and neat. And they're saying, I love you, but I love myself more. And that, by that person deciding to go off onto their spiritual journey to find that 10 of cups, the fortune after difficulty of all the shit that they have endured and willing to go off. Now that's a far cry from doing things by the book now, isn't it? See, you got all these other people who are willing to conform so that they can fit in. And then you have that one person who's like, nah, I don't want to fit in. I don't want to. I want to take a journey all by myself, even if, and look at that. We have the sun and the moon again. We have the sun and the moon in both of these cards, which is exactly what we've got going on right here. The sun and the moon. Except for this time, the sun is at their back and they are guided by the moon. Justice is served in this situation. It might not feel good. The justice that ensues might not feel good, but spirit says it's justice nonetheless. Yeah, temperance. There's healing. Temper yourself. Be patient. Be patient. There's, and look, on the light of day, this path that he's going down, see how he's going? Winds him up on this new path right here. Everything he's ever wanted. So alchemy, you know, we don't always know why we have to let certain people, places, and things go, but it's because there's always something that is waiting for you on the other side. And I see it's because you were willing to go against the grain and not conform and go off on your own path is when justice and the balance of the scales is now restored. You know, sometimes it's like tip, 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 because one person is always having to, you know, constantly uh, give up parts of themselves and sacrifice. And, you know, because that's what the, the hanged man is all about is they sacrifice, right? Right. And they sacrifice and they sacrifice and they sacrifice parts of themselves and they sacrifice how they feel and they sacrifice what they want and they sacrifice their beliefs and they sacrifice and they keep sacrificing until they have nothing more to sacrifice. And then because they have nothing more to sacrifice, these people end up walking away from them anyway. Because now this person has changed so much, they don't even recognize themselves anymore. They have to cut it off. They have to cut people off. Three. There's three swords. So you may end up having to cut three people off for some of you. I want to read the number 11. I want to read the protection message and then I'm going to leave it there. I want you guys to think about this, okay? Now is the time for a real change in consciousness as you are incited to revolt. Challenge the structures that are limiting authentic progress. It is not enough to rebel in small ways. This is a call to revolution. Focus on what you really want to achieve, regardless of whether it feels so far outside the box that the established order may reject it. Genius invention and transformation are rarely comfortable and less likely to be accepted by the mainstream. It may be time for you to say no to the way of your group, take a stand and make real change. It could be that the structure of your inner world is alerting you to the need for a complete overhaul. This is a time for transformation. 
So let go of the fear of change. Your intuition will lead you through the darkness. There is no turning back now. Trust that light will dawn. Epiphanies will surely lead to miracles. Take it slow. That's that's the thing. Don't go jumping into things. Just ha You don't need to have all of it figured out. And everything that you need will definitely be provided for you. Especially if you're doing this because you're choosing yourself. And instead of following the crowd, I would definitely always say never follow the crowd. They're lost. Anyway, you guys, I love you all so much. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading, all my information's in the description box down below. Uh, you guys, I love you all so much. Thank you all for your support. Like, share, and subscribe. And uh, check me out on Facebook and Instagram under the Footsteps to Peace. I love you all so much, and we will chat again soon. Take care.